Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jonathan Coates and in today's free AI training, I'm going to be showing you how to create fillable PDF forms from rich text files. Now you can have a Word document too, or you can have any kind of document where if you were to upload it and convert it to a PDF, I'm going to show you how to take that PDF and then make it fillable, meaning it's going to look just like this. So on my coaching and consulting page, which I'm actually creating right now, if I click on click here to apply for consulting, this application slash consulting diagnosis that I created right here is absolutely fillable right on the internet. So people don't have to print it out and you know fill it out with the black ink and then scan it back in or anything like that. Although I do like that as an option as well, but people can just check it off like this if they're uh, if they pick any of the multiple choice, et cetera, et cetera. And I even got spaces for them to write. So for an example, right here where it says size of business, it has the multiple choice relative to goals of client, i.e. satisfactory, not big enough, fast enough, B, very disappointing, C, relative to most successful businesses in the industry, professional category, D, relative to direct competition, and E, relative to potential. So I, any one of these, they choose it and they have the option to write notes in the application like so. So what's really cool about this is once they're done they can send it back and it'll be completely filled without them having to have to print it out and then rescan it back in so i wanted to show you how i did that this is the website that i used to convert my rtf to a pdf but as i was saying you can use a word document you can convert it from anything excel spreadsheets powerpoint presentations image files and I also have another website that's just like that. It's called Convertio and it's a file converter as well. I mainly come here when I need to convert my images from PNG to WebP and that helps me to have faster loading times on my websites because those images are not stored on the media library within the actual website is, is stored on the local browser. It's a different type of image file that's more compressed that actually helps my website to load a lot faster, saving me like two seconds of time. So I use that with this, but you can also do the same thing here. So you take your document and then you just upload it. And then once you convert it to a PDF, you take that PDF and then you go to this website right here called DocFly. It's a place where you can go to create these fillable applications. So let me just show you what this looks like. You don't have to create an account. You start out with like three export credits, but let me just show you how I do this. So if I click on to upload file, I upload my consulting diagnosis here. I just want to show you for the sake of this training here. If I click on this, it's going to take me to this form right here where you can actually turn it into a fillable PDF. So in order to do that, you have to click on form creator. And then down here is where you have these options. You have the text field, paragraph field, and check boxes. These are the main three that I use. So for the client name, I basically just take a text field. I'm not able to type right now, but if I go up here to text field, all I got to do is just come down here and I, I normally click so that I can see it and I can take this box and drag it over like so. And you can go right here to adjust the box around and move it to your desired location in the spot. So I'm just going to put it right here and then bring this over like so. Now, if they were to type in here, it works. So you basically have to do that for every line on your application. And if you just concentrate on it for about like 30 minutes straight, you should be able to do it with 27 pages with limited distractions. So that's what it looks like for the text field. Now, when you have areas where you need a paragraph, you don't want to put the text box because it's going to look weird when they start typing. It's going to start in the middle. So you want to use a paragraph field. And for that, all you got to do is just click up here and then go to your section. So for right here, I need them to actually give me some more information rather than just one sentence. So what I'll do is, I take this box and drag it over like so. And it's really easy to do. Now it starts all the way up here. So you can do that for all the different spots on your application or form where you need to make the part fillable. So let me show you what I did for multiple choice. And for these areas right here, I mainly just take the text field and then I just bring it over all the way over like so. And then I bring it down and I just do the same thing as I did earlier. I adjust it to the section to make it fit. And what's really cool about it is you don't have to keep doing that. So it uses your very last. It's almost like it saves what you just did, because if I do it again, when I click, it's the same size as the last one. So I don't have to keep adjusting it. So that's very convenient that I've noticed about that. And you just keep doing that over and over again. And I'm going to show you how to do this with multiple choice as well. So here where I have is clients belief about acquiring new customers that there must always be a profit on first transaction equals zero acquisition cost. B, it is acceptable to go negative on first transaction plus incur some acquisition costs. C, to meet growth goals is necessary to be very aggressive and therefore go significantly negative on the first transaction. All we got to do here, instead of having them like circle it or use the signature field, which you have that option to do up here, instead of them having to circle it, and you have the option to create a signature field too, by the way, instead of them having to circle it, what I normally do is I can just click on the checkbox and when you click, you can see the box like so and I just hover right over the letter. And now when they click on it, it's just checked off. 
So I just want to show you what that looks like. And you do have the option to add a signature field at the bottom of the application if you like, or your form or whatever you're using this for. So now that I've showed you that, if you're using Optimize Press and you're on the Optimize Editor, I want to show you how to attach that to a button. So when people click on the button, it immediately redirects them to your application. So what's going to happen is once they click on it, it'll open up in a new tab. Like as you can see right here, it saves it in my media library. And so when they get redirected, this is what they'll see. They'll see your form like so. So I want to show you how to do this with Optimize Press, which is basically just a marketing all in one suite. So for this specific page, what I did was I got the two different sections here on the first section is where I actually have the application right here is where I click on link URL. And then it has the option to choose from the drop down. You can send people to a link URL. You can send them to a link to a media file. So what you want to do is you want to choose link to media file, and then it's going to have you select that media file. Once you're done with this process, you export it to your desktop. And then over here is where you actually upload it to your media library. And once you're done, you just click on save. And I just want to show you a quick little preview. I'm going to exit out my old document. So when people click on this, it'll redirect them to your form. So that's how it looks in Optimize Press. And as you can see, the multiple choice is active. They want to type and they can put whatever they want into the application. So I want to show you that as well as a bonus here I got with an AI tool. It's called Ask Your PDF. It's a plugin that you can put into your browser and it can help you so you don't have to constantly scroll down PDFs. You can basically just upload the document and then it'll redirect you to a chat bot and it'll scan the content of that document so you're not constantly having to do control F and searching for whatever it is. If you have a question about something that's within the content of that document, it'll give you an answer. You can actually have like a back and forth conversation with an AI assistant using the context of the content within that document. All right. So I'll be sure to have this in the description be sure to check it out when it comes to optimize press that marketing suite that I was telling you about to make those adjustments for your websites, the converter, the online to PDF.com, as well as the other one converter, your file converter. You basically just come here and you choose the file upload it and then you choose whatever you want it to convert to and then this site right here is where you can make the forms actually fillable so with that said i hope you enjoyed the video if you like content like this then i highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel and check out my website jonathancoast.com i talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales and speaking of traffic if you need generating traffic and increasing sales and speaking of traffic if you need high quality droves of consistent targeted traffic to your business on a day-to-day -day basis without having to spend money on advertising so this is basically just free organic traffic strategies then i recommend that you check out the limitless traffic formula in the description it's completely free it comes with a five-day video training where i'll walk you over the shoulder and show you how to do it just like i did in this video all right and be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below i have everything that i included in this training so with that said i will see you in the next video see you then